Hey, Visanti here. So Miho posts a Chinese Genshin update and we're gonna look at that article and hopefully it'll be the same for Global, we'll see. All right, so Miho did release some notes regarding the upcoming versions and whatnot, but it is in Chinese. So Google Translate doing work and hopefully uh, I don't miss much on here. Especially with the translation. So, dear travelers, some time ago we received many questions from travelers why there are no in-game activities in the Devil Festival. I'm assuming around October, right? Uh, here we would like to sincerely explain the reason for this matter with you and also take the opportunity to synchronize the follow-up version plan with you. So they opened the PC version technical test on September 15th and officially opened the global launch on September 28th. Considering a large number of travelers arrived for the first time on the 28th, they had, we all had different schedules, right? <laughs> because it's global. So we did not have any preparation activities in the initial stage of launch of all platforms. Damn, they, like, they, they took a, like, a big chunk, right? Like PS4, PC, mobile, and everyone, different time zones. On the other hand, after the server opened, we encountered various problems such as stuck problems, people getting Stuck, attacking plugins, um, which is probably like hacks and stuff, normal battles, etc. The production team put more energy on ensuring the stability of the game, so they're pretty much doing bug fixes and making sure everything is stable like since the launch until now. In addition, the production team has formulated countermeasures and scheduling for key position problems, operation convenience problems, and lend problems that everyone has concentrated on. So I guess everyone's like putting their bug fixes and stuff and busy is hammering down on that. Uh, the production team has also formulated solutions and schedules and made corresponding modification and tests without affecting the development of subsequent version. So at least these bugs, they, they probably put like a separate bug team just for, you know, handling bugs and stuff like that. So at least the, or they rearrange people around. That's what they use software development, right? Take some key players or whatnot, and then they'll go do, or or maybe the key players, and then do continue on the development of future content, and then they take some of the like the juniors and whatnot. They work on the bug fixes. Usually, though, a lot easier as a as a software engineer myself. Anyways, under such circumstances, we finally did not arrange corresponding festival for the double festival around October first. So that's what they love. Um, which caused everyone's disappointment. Let me say sorry to the travelers. So they're apologizing, right? They didn't have anything first. But the game kind of just launched on September 28th. But it was, I guess, in closed beta quite a bit. Uh, some travelers also asked why not open the Sea Lantern Festival during the Mid-Autumn Festival. First of all, because the Sea Lantern activity has both several problems in the previous test. So they did have this festival event. And then they have bugs and stuff in beta. So they need to adjust. They go back to development. Still in production. And relative release schedule has been correspondingly planned. On the other hand, in, determined, in the already determined in the version plan, Sea Lantern Festival is the largest festival in Liu area. And it was originally prepared for wintertime. So it's probably going to... They were planning it for December. I wonder if friends who participate in the previous test still remember the words of Xiao Pai Ming at the beginning of the Sea Lantern Festival. Uh, the full moon first night each year is the Sea Lantern Festival of Li Yu. Um, in order to provide travelers um, with richer game content, we've been trying various optimization solutions. And development of multiple versions is also in progress to ensure the stable update of the game version and the continuous change of content. So they're making it stable. Some bug fixes. In, okay. Um, it's the subsequent versions. We will combine different season and cultural background of each version region in the game, as well as everyone's habits, holiday to design. So they may or may not have a Halloween thing, because that, you know, that's on this side. Um, with the cultural background and holidays and Thanksgiving is also Thanksgiving um, and then of course Christmas right 
So we'll see if we have any of those. No guarantees, but they're trying to combine all the different seasons for everywhere. Later, there will be unique festivals in each region, such as Mondstadt and Lue, uh, such as Mon Meet Everyone at the Feng Hui Festival, Bat Mitten Festival. So they have a bunch of events kind of planned out. Moon by the Month Festival, etc. All right. At present, the content of the subsequent version is under stable development, so um, no real, no real big delays on the version. They have their timeline is pretty much no. They're not in the red zone to say. Um, the production or yellow. There's probably like green, green status. Production team will work hard to ensure that the version is updated every six weeks. The major update. Major version update will generally be on Wednesday. Specific update rhythm and update notes are subject to actual conditions. So instead of the Monday, which is like the Tuesday, which is going to be on Wednesday, but they make it sound like it's the, the specific update happening. But they say Wednesday, so most likely like they pushed it out to be a Wednesday thing now from now on. And the timeline is every six weeks. So that that's not too bad. Like games usually have bigger major these are top we're talking about major updates. Not not like the minor ones. But sometimes they'll have like the minor ones. At least they're transparent with this. So six weeks for major updates. Um so now we know when to expect the next major update, right? After the first major update. Uh, followed by the version theme activities list of recent vision activities and timeline and time so version 1.1 is expected to be updated on november 11 during this version the unturned start off event will be open so new event dropping as well as the major update here a month from now a month and two days like the ninth for me and then the version 1.2 is expected to be updated December 23rd, supposedly six weeks after. During this version, the Long G Snow Mountain area and related activities will be open. So the snow area, I don't know if that, yeah, so that's the Dragon Spine. Long, long, long Dragon. And then GM is going to be Spine. Um, so that's the area under Mondstadt and right of Lu Lee you it right so that area that you see all that snow mountain and stuff like that they're gonna open that part up they'll be ready for for christmas right and then version 1.3 is expected to be updated in february next year during this version the sea lantern festival series of activities will be launched so talking about the the event from earlier that they wanted to be in winter time they had to delay it to february okay finally we would like to express our secure thanks to all the Travelers for the enthusiasm and expectations. We've been paying attention to everyone's opinions and feedback in the community, whether it's criticism or spurring. We all accept it with humility. When dealing with problems, we definitely analyze and solve them seriously. We do not give you a detail. We do not give you a detailed explanation at the first time, which caused trouble to everyone. So then they're like, "Oh yeah, we need to be more transparent." We also sincerely apologize for this. Thanks for everyone who accompanied us all the way for their tolerance. Thank you for continued attention. We will turn this companionship and emotion into driving force for progress and step by step make the trip to Hyvet closer to everyone's dreams. Okay, so it seems like yeah. So six week uh, timelines. Too bad. That's like that's usually like where they usually do like major minor updates stuff like that for some most of the games and stuff and the development process. Um. But that one major updates weeks. Yeah, hopefully um I know that some people are like running out of stuff already because then they're like hitting that <laughs> brick wall and then they want some content. Um but they we did kinda like rush the game. I mean it's fun, right? Don't don't get me wrong. I'm 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 at like rank thirty adventure rank thirty three and I'm I'm like Waiting for the next update because I want Zhong Zhong Li, and we'll see how things go with that. And then the next banner, this banner currently ends in like what ten days or so. So something's bound to happen within that. So like in between the the three week period, um, the banners seem to be 
ending so every three weeks a new banner uh, see how things go with that and i'm looking forward to the new area that's dropping dragon spine area they didn't say anything about any new area for 1.1 here but we'll see But yeah, I kind of, I kind of expected them to have bug problems and like serviceability because they're in global all at once. So there's gonna be some lag and whatnot. So that's kind of expected. But wow, six six weeks they they've been like cut on with the six weeks anyway. So at least they didn't like deviate from their internal schedule. But now to be transparent, which is nice. And then let's see the one three. But yeah, pretty excited. I'm hyped for this and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video.